I'm Jamie Williams, I'm a Senior Operations Engineer at Goonhilly. Goonhilly 3 is our second largest antenna on site. It's 29.6 metres. It's gone from being a geostationary antenna to now being repurposed for deep space communications and radio astronomy. So Goonhilly 3 is quite a special antenna where it is the only antenna on site at Goonhilly to have a cryogenic cooled receiver. What that does is it calls the low noise amplifier down to 9 degrees Kelvin. The way that spacecraft uh, are received by this antenna is that the spacecraft radiates, hits the main reflector, is reflected back up onto the sub-reflector and that is then reflected back down into that tower structure you see protruding from the dish. And behind that is the antenna's feed, having connected to that the cryostat and the sensitive receiver, which uh, receives the signal and decodes and demodulates it. So looking at the antenna, what we see in front of us is the large lift structure that moves in azimuth with the antenna, and also the large counterweights. And then right at the top of this 12-sided cone is the azimuth bearing. That's what the entire structure revolves around. Let's go inside and take a closer look. So now we're on the servo floor. This is how we can manually control the antenna. Right in front of us is the servo cabinet. This allows us to move the antenna left and right, up or down, but it's also where we connect to to remotely control the antenna. So another way of being able to get up to the top of the antenna is through the ladder. This intersects the king post in the center of the dish. This allows us to uh, climb right to the top. And let's take the lift up. So here we are right at the top of the antenna in the LNA cabin. What we have in front of us is the compressor which sends our cryogenically cooled liquid helium into our cryostat. This bander section raises up and down with the antenna when it's going up in elevation. And then we have two racks up here. One is for demodulating and decoding all of the signals we're taking down from space, and the other is for viewing our signal on the spectrum analyzer. So at the moment, the cryostat is down at nine degrees Kelvin. That's minus 264 degrees Celsius. And what that is doing is inside the cryostat, where the low noise amplifier is, it's freezing all the electrons inside the cryo, taking away all that energy they need to bounce around and to create that thermal noise. And that allows us to see a much cleaner signal without all of that noise interference or see a spacecraft which is further away or see a spacecraft with a weaker transmitter. This is the top of the king post. This allows us to climb right through the center of the antenna and get to the top to the cabin. So right now we're walking into the hub of the antenna. This is where the antenna's feed and the cryostat is hosted. So you might be able to hear that pumping sound. That's the sound of the liquid helium being pumped into the cryostat, being circulated around what we call the cold head, cooling the low noise amplifier in the cryo down to nine degrees Kelvin and pumping that warm helium back into the system to be cooled down again. So you might not be able to see it, but we've deployed the feed right down to the end of this uh, carriageway. So that puts the feed in the optimum focus position where the signal from space come down, hit the reflector, reflected to the sub-reflector and back down into the feed. So another important feature about the cryostat is that it's under vacuum. We pump all of the air out so it can't transfer any heat through convection. And then we use very low thermally conducted materials so it can't transfer heat through conduction. So this is our second biggest antenna at Goonhilly. It measured 29.6 metres across. We also call it Goonhilly 3 or Aerial 3. It's locally known as Guinevere. 
but is also designated DSS-58 for the NASA's Deep Space Network. And this allows us to track NASA spacecraft and downlink their signals and support what we're doing with Goonhilly 6 for deep space communications. So Goonhilly 3 is also well suited for radio astronomy. Being such a large dish and having such a sensitive receiver, we can point the dish to planets or galaxies or pulsars and use that for radio astronomy and working with academia. So what makes Goonhilly a perfect place to host antennas is that we can see the entire geostationary orbit arc from 65 east through zero to 75 west with clear horizons in all directions right down to five degrees elevation. Thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to find out more, please visit our website at goonhilly.org and our social media platforms on LinkedIn, Twitter and Facebook.